Blood Warlock, Succubus Partner in the Apocalypse. Chapter 27 by Zemin's First Change My wounds are fine now. Thank you for asking. Bai Zemin took a moment to look at the faces of the people in front of him before looking at Shang Bing Shui and replying. Hearing that he was indeed fine and confirming it through his natural voice, Shang Bing Shui's eyes had a strange glint in them after confirming that his wounds had effectively healed. I see. She only nodded before looking at Chen He silently. The talented archer understood the intention behind her gaze and slowly began to explain to Bai Zemin the situation. During the past three days when you were recovering, the condition of the sick due to the low temperatures of their bodies improved with the help of the General Kale faction. Thank you for that. He honestly thanked on behalf of the rest of the survivors. Soon, however, he frowned and continued, but there is another problem at present. Bai Zemin was not surprised. He nodded slightly and finished his words instead, the food is running low, isn't it? That's right. Chen He sighed and scratched his head in frustration. Currently, because we didn't want to make the situation any worse than it already is, we let everyone eat their fill. The problem is that now the reserved food finally ran out. We can only last until tomorrow. Liang Peng, who had been silent with his big hammer, interrupted, then why don't we just go get some more? Those zombies are slow as hell and those dogs and cats may be fast, but they're too dumb. I don't think we'll have a problem if we all move together. In fact, I'm afraid we have no choice but to go out and forage for food at the university restaurants. Chen He had no choice but to say yes. Food was an indispensable resource that could not be missed. Even the strongest evolvers had no choice but to eat to provide nutrients that the body needed but did not produce naturally. Without food, everyone would weaken to the point where lifting a single finger would be a challenge. Moreover, the chaos resulting from starvation was something no one was willing to let happen. Besides, Kai Jingyi, the same girl who had met Bai Zemin at the beginning of the apocalypse, suddenly seemed to gather the courage to speak. Although she felt a little self-conscious under everyone's gaze, she continued, if possible it would also be good if we can get clothes. Actually, since there are male and female changing rooms for showering, hygiene is not much of a problem. However, after almost a week of wearing the same clothes, it is starting to become a bit unbearable. We will definitely get more clothes. Shangguan Bing Shui was the first to agree as she frowned slightly. Although her clothes were free of dirt stains and her white dress along with her silver hair made her look like an angel, the truth was that after not being able to change even once in six days, her mood was not the best. The corner of Bai Zemin's mouth twitched a couple of times, but he said nothing. Even he did not feel comfortable with the current situation, not to mention the women who were by nature beings who constantly worried about cleanliness. Seeing that no one disagreed with her words, Kai Jingyi couldn't help but sigh in relief. By the way, taking advantage of the momentary silence, Bai Zemin looked at Chen He and casually asked, the army, the government, the police forces. No word on this? Hearing his question, Liang Peng, Kai Jini, and the few teachers present looked at Chen He waiting for his answer. Nothing. Chen He shook his head to no one's surprise. But. A bespectacled teacher interrupted with an anxious expression. Young Master Chen, your Chen family is a big family with power in the army and your father a regimental commander? Shouldn't they send someone for you at least? Bai Zemin couldn't help but raise an eyebrow. Family with military backing? Regimental commander? He hadn't expected Chen He to have such a background. To think that this handsome guy's father was actually a veteran soldier with military rank colonel. Bai Zemin had a strange glint and his gaze could not help but shift slightly towards Shang Guan Bing Shui. Then, her background should be similar or superior to Chen He's. Chen He's face changed slightly but soon returned to normal. He looked at Shang Guan Bing Shui for a moment before sighing, indeed. I was hoping that my family would get here soon, but apparently the situation is far worse than we all thought. How can that be possible? The teacher who had spoken earlier looked desperate and his face lost all color. If even an important person like Chen he had been practically abandoned to his fate by his own family, how could they, people with no real backing, expect support from the government or the army? It was nothing but wishful thinking. They all looked desperate for a moment. 
The only two people whose expression remained unchanged were the indifferent Shangguan Bing Shui and Liang Peng, who was casually looking around. Even Bai Zemin's expression turned a bit ugly. Not because of the lack of military or governmental response, but because of his family. The worse the situation was outside, the less likely it was that his family would survive amidst such chaos. They have to be okay. No matter what, definitely nothing could happen to them. Bai Zemin clenched his fists, ignoring the pain in his left hand. Every time he thought about his family, his heart squeezed hard as if a giant stone was pressing down on it. However, no matter how much he wanted to see them and run out to find them, he couldn't do that. As strong as he was, Bai Zemin did not know what kind of dangers dwelled outside this place and he was not arrogant enough to believe that his strength was enough to overcome them all. Then, let's go find the food we can. Bai Zemin said coldly. His tone of voice lacked emotion, however, there should be some changes from now on. Everyone looked at him in surprise, noticing the change in his eyes and his indifferent voice seemed to hold a higher weight than in the past. While Bai Zemin was previously indifferent, his current indifference contained several degrees of coldness that was not there before. What do you mean? Shangguan Bing Shui furrowed her eyebrows slightly, also secretly surprised by the abrupt change. Bai Zemin looked at her and slowly explained, from now on, those who are unwilling to help in any way will only be able to eat enough to not starve. To be honest, I have no time to waste with leeches here. If no one is willing to move to advance and get out of this damn place, then I will start moving on my own with people who really want to get out of this hellhole. But I definitely won't get dragged down by anyone. Lilith, who was visible only to Bai Zemin, stood silently beside him. When she heard his words, her eyes glittered and a silent smile rose on her lips. From a certain point of view, it could be said that this was the first major change in Bai Zemin after the world had changed. He had already saved many people out of kindness, but if they wanted to keep him using that kindness, then he would abandon them without even a second thought. To him, his family was everything. As long as he had such an impulse, then he would not be held back by anything. Lilith's only worry was that if Bai Zemin's family did not survive, it was probable that he would not be able to rally a motive to fight for, therefore, she had to think of countermeasures. No matter what, she couldn't just let him fall in this place. Wait, wait a moment. Liang Peng raised his voice and looked at Bai Zemin with wide eyes, are you crazy? Bai Zemin casually looked him up and down before looking him in the eyes and asking coldly, and you are what? My previous words were not a question. What I said is what will happen, whether you like it or not, you don't have a choice here.